Hello YouTube! Today we are here to talk about my goals for 2016. Last year I made a yearly goals video for the first time because Aaron made me. Um, I thought maybe I would do another one and kind of do this in the style of the way that Becky Zero always does it, where she kind of reflects on the ones from last year and then sets new ones. January is almost over. Isn't it a little late to be talking about this, you say? Wrong. Because this is not just about New Year on the calendar. On January 31st, I will be 25 years old. And I have kind of mixed feelings about this, like it's a big deal, but also like not a big deal. And you know, like my youth is just slipping through my fingers and I'm wasting my life. But that's not really for this. So let's first talk about my goals from 2015 and how I did with them. The first goal I mentioned was I want to move out of this house. Guess how I did. I didn't really have very much in the way of goals like career-wise when I graduated from college, but I definitely expected to not still be living in like my childhood home when I was 25. So I kind of feel like a failure in that regard. But I just have to keep in mind that I graduated college at like a really crappy time to graduate college where there was like not a lot of jobs and the economy sucks and school loans <laughs> killing me forever. Okay, the second thing I mentioned was to go to New York City more often. Technically, I was in New York City more often in 2015 than I was in 2014, but it was like always for traveling and not for just like funsies and wandering around, except once. I did go see a Broadway show. I went to see um, Honeymoon in Vegas on a whim one day. Other than that, I was really only there to catch the bus at Port Authority bus terminal so I could go to Boston. But I'm really okay with that. The next goal that I mentioned was to take a yoga class. I didn't take a yoga class this year. I did a bunch of yoga along with the um, Yoga with Adrian channel. So I did do yoga. I joined a gym in April and this past fall I took a Zumba class for eight weeks. The next thing that I mentioned was put out an album of my ukulele music. I expected to do most of the work on that during the summer because in the summer there's more time where like nobody else is home but me. But some stuff happened and so my family members were around a lot more and I don't really want to annoy them with like the repetition that recording an album would require and the noise that recording an album would require. So due to powers outside of my control, I didn't get this done. And then the last goal that I mentioned is to write in a journal every day. I did keep up with this until like the beginning of December and then like with the holiday season and everything and I just kind of like lost my give a damn. But I figure I'm gonna start this up again on my birthday because that's like a good time to start. I think it's the start of like a year in a way. And I definitely found that just if you have trouble keeping a journal, even if you just write down, you think about your day, you think about what was the best thing that happened and what was the worst thing that happened and you just write that down. I found that was a really easy way for me to keep up with this. And so now here are my goals for 2016. We're gonna start again with um, getting the hell out on my own and starting my real full adult life. I have a couple more specifics in mind this time around setting this goal. Specifically, I would like to move to the Boston area. That's my goal. My overall plans are still pretty vague, but at least I have an idea of where I wanna live, so that's something. The next thing is to get back on track with fitness. I've kind of fallen off of the gym in the past couple months. Basically what happened was I went four days a week for the first two months I was at the gym and literally nothing changed visually about my body and I didn't like feel any different and then from there I kind of slacked off more and more. I need to get back on track with that because it's for my health. The next goal that I have is to kind of downsize some of my possessions, especially books. I have so many books and there's a bunch of them that I'm not going to read again and maybe if I can sell them then I can put that money in like the Move to Boston fund and then that way if I've already downsized a bunch then when I do move I already have my life in order. I won't have to worry about what am I keeping, what am I taking. It'll already be like this is the stuff that I really want. The next goal is to practice guitar at least three times a week. Uh, I took a guitar class for 10 weeks this fall and since I haven't been required to like 
be able to do things every week guitar class I've kind of fallen off of my practicing I would like to be at least as good at guitar as I am at ukulele which isn't even like that technically great so that's my last goal I don't have a lot of like goals and I feel like these are all pretty achievable if I actually try thanks to my highs and lows journal I can like look back and be like what did I do this year that was good and what happened that was bad I want to just quickly touch on a couple of those highs and lows starting with the lows so we can end on a high this video the lows firstly the first thing I thought of when I was writing this script is the two different um, crowd related panic attacks that I had this spring one of them was on Saturday at Anime Boston and the other was when we went out to a bar for one of my friend's birthdays and it was just very crowded um, and these are both places where I should have like felt safe and like I was having fun and being happy so that was a great thing to learn about myself another though is the extreme guilt the recurring guilt that I had over my YouTube procrastination that ultimately culminated in YouTube not feeling that fun with me and with me having to take a break for a little bit. And I guess probably the worst thing of all and the thing that's hardest to talk about and hardest to deal with. But I have to mention it because it's the worst thing that happened this year by far and it happened at the very end is that um, in the fall my cat started having seizures and on um, December 30th we put her to sleep. It still hasn't been that long so it still is like but I have to be honest we're talking about the highs and lows and it's probably the lowest though and now for the highs probably one of the very very best things was that for my birthday weekend last year um, we went to the Final Fantasy Distant Worlds concert and Nobuo I'm gonna butcher this pronunciation the Nobuo Amatsu Amatsu was there and he let us in a sing-along of One Winged Angel as part of one of the encores. I don't know, it was so cool to me and so fun. Just the whole auditorium just chanting evil Latin and led by the composer of Final Fantasy. So good. In September, I went on a trip to Cape May, New Jersey, which is literally you cannot go more south in New Jersey um, without going in the ocean. And that was, I hadn't been there since I was a kid and that was a really nice time. And I still have to go through the video footage from that and make something of it. The last thing I'm going to mention, just any time that I get to spend with my college friends is really special and I was fortunate to see a couple of them like a couple times this year and they're super precious to me because I don't get to see them very often. I'm really hoping that 2016 is going to be a good year for me. I find that odd numbered years are like worse for me and besides I'm 25 now so hopefully that special number will like add some special magic to my 2016 and make everything cool plus I have one extra day this year to make things happen thank you all for watching good luck to you this year and I will see you next time with another video and peace out